Hi everyone, it's Muriel and I'm here with a design team project for Craft Supplies 1 that I wanted to show you these flowers that I created with a flower that I had been given in my design team package. So I used the pearl trim that was sent to me. It's the, I guess you can call it teardrop. So I got this in my package last month as well as these flowers here, these huge flowers. So let's lay them there and then I'll show you what they look like. They're huge. They're white and they have this long, really stiff stem. So what I did was um, kind of twisted the center out, which pulled the stem out, removed the green, and then used what was left. And I just recreated some um, flowers, a flower from a flower. So this is a uh, doily from the dollar store that I purchased here in my neighborhood. Um, underneath that is a piece of burl, um, muslin. I had some muslin that I had recently stamped on, you can see, and then I had just a scrap left, so I was able to cut out a circle and then uh, use my pink and shears to uh, cut the edges so it doesn't fray. And then the next layer is the um, eyelash trim, which I love. And then the white flower here with stickles on it. According to the YouTube Code of Conduct, always put stickles on your flowers. Is that right, Lisey? And then I just clustered those pearl trims. And basically what you, what you do is you get your hot glue gun out and you put um, right along the edge some hot glue and then you begin to, to turn right and then you just kind of hot glue and depending on how big you want your cluster then you'll know how much uh, to cut it off and this size here I probably used I can tell you probably 12 inches but you may want to do 8 inches depending on how big you want your um, how big you want your cluster so that's the flower there I made several of them here is another one that I made. This is with some of that gorgeous loopy uh, trim that I purchased from a local sewing store. Looks like this. And I think I sent this to somebody out there. I don't know if it was Laura or someone has some of this loopy trim. So I started with the um, chipboard back and then I layered the gorgeous soft cottony loopy trim. And then underneath there, I don't know if you can see it, but I did put a piece of the muslin uh, cutting with the pink and sheer, cut the edges are, are trimmed with the pink and sheer. And then here is the gorgeous white flower and then the cluster of these uh, pearl trims. So that's that one. Here's one where I did not do a cluster. I basically used a scallop uh, two inch punch and then I used some um, lace from craft supplies one and basically um, it was a like a yard of lace so basically I cut the lace like in a square like this or rectangle you put a dab of glue and then you cross the um, lace over and then you're going to put another dab of glue in the center and cross it over like this so it looks like a triangle right and then you have your um, scalloped uh, punch and you're just going to glue them down like this so you know how it goes and you just kind of follow that all the way around the scallop punch. And that was the first layer for this flower here. And then some of the um, eyelash trim and then that flower itself. And it has stickles all over it. And then here is this one here. Same thing. This is another um, white. This is beautiful. I didn't want to use all of this, but this was sent to me in my design team package as well. It's the white eyelet. Okay, and it's pretty big, so I basically cut right maybe where that loop is right there. And did the whole, you know, glue it, turn it over, put it down. So that was the first layer, and then we have the eyelash trim. And then we have the big flower, and then we have a cluster of the uh, pearl trim here. Okay, and then the last one, I used a white dollar store doily some of the loopy trim and the white flower again with the stickles on it and then a cluster of the pearl trim. So that's all of the flowers that I've made. I'll probably make a couple of more because I, I have a piece, uh, one more doily left and then I have uh, some of this stuff here. So 
going to use that and make some more. So it was really fun to uh, repurpose the flour itself to a flour. I'm just going to set them in this bowl for now. Um, uh, yeah, it was fun to, to repurpose them, you know, a flower to a flower. So I hope you ladies were able to go over to Craft Supplies 1 because this is where they sell these beautiful large flowers at. They're gorgeous, and they can be sprayed, and they can be inked. Um, you can just put a little distress on the edges. And again, that center, you get down in there and just twist it, which will twist this stem, and you can just use it however you want to. Um, and then the pearl trim. Don't forget that. I've seen that at Craft Supplies 1 really inexpensive. She really has some good deals on this stuff. So, and then I also wanted to show you ladies that I did paint one of the um, glass bowls again. I did it with a light, light pink and it came out pretty. And then I have the uh, paper flowers sitting in there. And then I want to give a shout out and a thank you to Terry, Terry Feely. I got your lace the other day. She sent me some more lace ladies along with these lovely library cards she had been given from her school administrator and these are so cool I wish I had inserted them into my mini album that I've already you know begun working on but they would have been cool because I would have been able to list the times and the buildings of the colleges that we visited so we will be using these thank you and she sent me this gorgeous uh, yellow lace and I think I have a couple of scraps from Graphic 45 Travel Log <laughs> that um, I can come up with something, whether it be a card or a tag, and to use this lace on, especially this uh, peppermint lime green kind of. So thank you, Terry. I really appreciate that. And go on over, ladies, to Craft Supplies One. I'm, I haven't heard um, who won, but I'm sending out a shout out to whichever designer had the most people to purchase. Um, kudos to you. I give you a hand clap because you get a $75 gift card. So I'm just waiting with bated breath to see who won. So I'll be back, ladies. I did some popping tags at the Value Village, and I just want to show you a few things that I got. Take care, and I'll be back. Bye now.